So now we're at an embroidery machine and we're going to use a built-in design, but you can do this sequence and these steps using any embroidery machine. So I'm going to touch the screen to wake it up. We're going to the embroidery section. And in this machine, I'm going to use a design that I know is already an applique design. You can see this when you touch set. And here is the applique step. See, there's the cutting step, there's the tack down step, and there's the step that actually stitches down the applique piece. So that's the design we're going to use. So I am going to touch the word embroidery. So we go to the embroidery mode. Now, we have a napkin already hooped here. It's on the sticky wash away stabilizer. So I'm going to put this on the machine. And the reason we're doing this is so that we can actually see the placement because we want the design to end up on the corner of the napkin. So the machine is actually telling us that it's going to calibrate and move, so we're going to touch the word OK. All right, now on this machine it happens to have a scan feature, so we're going to touch the scan up here, and we're going to touch scan, and what's going to happen is the machine will actually scan the hoop and it will display on the screen for us where the napkin edges are actually placed. Now, this is very hard for you to see. I understand that. So I'm going to touch the word close to close the scanning portion. And we're going to touch return so we can go back to the editing features. Now, under edit, I can go to the color palette. And we're going to change this black portion here to white so you can see it much easier. See how you can see that on the screen so much easier? You can see it in relationship to the dark napkin. Okay, now you can see that this is off the edge and we want that closer to the edge. So now to move the design, you have choices. You can touch and drag, but when you touch the word move icon, you get little arrows that help you with small incremental movements. Now we want to see this, but we want to see it in a larger viewing so we can make sure we're actually tucked in the corner how we want to be. So up here in the top you have zoom feature. Get this up here and let's go to 150 percent. See how much clearer you can see where that's at now? Now this isn't okay with me. I want that leaf to be up there and a little higher so you still have your arrows. And see how the small increments are pulling up the little design and now I'm too close on this edge so you come over here and bring the design over to the right. And you can just set this, get it how you want. And when you're happy, then we're going to touch OK. Now, I'm going back to the embroidery screen just to show you. And we still have our color breakout. So I'm going to start the machine. I have white thread in because this indicates where the applique piece is going to stitch. So I'm just going to start the machine running. And the nice part about this is we have a memory icon down here in the bottom. Now that lets you save the design to wherever you want to save it. You can save it to a machine, you can save it to a USB stick, and that's the lovely part about the embroidery machines. Now, we could have saved it before we got started, or you can actually save it in the middle of this embroidery design. Now, I'm going to start this up again because it's actually going to be stitching the leaf section this, all this white part that you see here will now be stitching. This will take a little bit of time. Okay, now you can see that it's ready for the next step. And on our screen it's showing us it's ready for the applique fabric. Now remember at the beginning of the design I showed you the word memory in the bottom corner. At that point you could have put in a USB. But even now, at this point, we can take a USB stick, insert it into the machine, and save the design. Here's our USB. So we just saved it to that USB stick. Now you say, okay, why would you do that? Because now we can take this USB stick, take it to the scanning cut, and the scanning cut will cut this applique piece out for us in that shape. So we don't have to put the piece over it and then try to cut it with the scissors when it's already in that hoop. 
So now that we have this memorized, we have the design on the USB and we have our fabric already ready. So let's take these to the scanning cut and let's go cut out the applique piece that'll be ready for that design. 